Today I'd like to show you how to take two or more images and add them together to make a new, very unique, very cool picture. program that I've used to make these images is paint.net. It's a free open source program. It's, it's really cool. Um, it's not as great as something like Photoshop, but it's easy to use and, most importantly, free. So here we are in paint.net. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in a background image. Now, these might be in various locations on your computer. Wherever you have this file saved, you want to go and bring up a background image. I placed these images on my desktop. So I'm going to go File, Open. Let me go to Desktop, Background Images. Now the image I work, want to work with right now is this one. I'm going to open it up. <clears throat> and you can see here we've got a picture of New York City, well, the Statue of Liberty. Now I need an image of an animal. So let me come back and I'm going to pull up another file, another picture of an animal. Let me go back to my desktop and I'm going to pull up the animal PNG images. Now these are images where I've already deleted the background out of the picture. I have some cheetahs, a, a diving whale, a walrus, a lying tiger, flying eagle, and a whale. Since I have water in this picture, let me, let me try this whale and see how it looks. So here we go, I've opened up this picture of a whale. Now, if you see here at the top, I have two images, or two, two projects open in paint.net. I have my New York City picture, and I have my whale picture. So, I want to take my whale picture and put it into my New York City picture. Here's how I do that. I need to use this tool right here. It is called the Rectangle Select. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to highlight my whale. Make sure you get all of it. You need to get the whole picture. If you only say get part of it, you're only going to copy that part. So make sure you copy and you select all of the whale picture. Edit, copy. Now I've copied it. Let's come over to the New York City picture. I'm going to go edit. I don't just want to paste. I want to paste into new layer. It's going to put this picture right on top of the New York City picture. There we go. Now, if your animal picture or whatever picture you're pasting in happens to be larger than the image that you're pasting into, you'll get a message that says um, expand canvas size or keep canvas size the same. You want to keep the canvas size the same and then you want to resize your animal picture. So let me shrink this whale down to about the size that it might be in this image. And I'm going to place the whale into the water. I think a little smaller is a little bit better here. And there we go. Very easily, I've added a photo of an animal, and I've put it someplace where it doesn't belong, and it looks kind of cool. We've got different colors on a black and white photo. Now that I'm done, I want to go File, Save As. 
I can say this however I want. Um, let me let me call this. Oop. Whale watching in NYC. Now my file type. Uh, there's a couple. You have a, you have a several choices. <clears throat> a paint.net file is this working file that I'm working on right now. I want to save this one since it's completed and I'm done. I want to save this one as a JPEG. Um, everybody knows JPEGs. They're the, pretty much the standard for, for images. So let me save that to my desktop. I have a, a file here called out of place. And I want to place this image in out of place. Whale watching in NYC. I can just press OK here. Um, I'm going to flatten the image and what that means right now I have two layers I have the whale layer um, as you can see right here the whale is in layer two and I have the background layer um, when I flatten it it takes all the layers that you have and it puts them onto one image once you flatten an image you can't change it it's it's forever stuck together so I'm going to flatten and there we go I've now saved my image well I hope you found this little tutorial useful and that you can now take two pictures and put them together to create your own unique and cool image. Check out more videos to learn more about paint.net. I'll see you next time.